What's up, YouTube, man? Y'all already know this. It's your boy, State of Steve. I'm coming back at you with that fire again, man. And today, we getting this interior done on the car. Hold on, just ain't gonna lighten up. Let me see, let me see. Okay, there we go, man. Today, we was getting the interior done on the car. I need to get it pulled out. I know I've been talking about it for a while now and we are finally getting it done, y'all. So, it will be diamond stitch. Just like this. It's gonna focus, it's gonna focus. All right, well, y'all get the picture, man. So it's gonna be the same color, diamond stitch. And I don't know, man, if I really wanna get rid of this piping right here and get it done like this. Pretty much stitch all this up like that. But I don't know, man. We'll see once we get it there. So I'm gonna get the seats tucking up out of here. And we're gonna load them up in the Tahoe, y'all. Y'all see I'm on the 28s. The Z71. And be sure to follow my Instagram page. I post a lot of content on there as well to keep y'all updated. But no, I ain't in the infinity today. We in the Tahoe. Get the seats put in here and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Boy, I'd be glad I got me an SUV, man. These things loaded up real easy. Got the back seats right here. Yeah, these things gonna be real scrumptious, man, once they get done. Could have been no way I could have loaded them up in the infinity. So let me turn y'all back on when I get there. And y'all about to see what's cracking. different doesn't it? Yeah. That might be it. Maybe the sun or something is changing. Yeah, you gotta clean those up. Hey y'all man, so I got the seats dropped off. We already got together the design and everything we want to do. We just want to make sure that we got the right color match on the leather because I waited so long to come back to get my seats done. If I would have got the seats done and door panels all done at once, we wouldn't have had this issue. So now we're trying to make sure we just find the right color for my seats that they match my door panels. And it may take a little while because this whole coronavirus and everything is going on. So a lot of upholstery, uh, selling places that sell the leather and stuff for clothes right now so we'll hope and see man that we can get it done pretty soon if not it really don't matter because the car ain't running right now so we'll be all good but hey man them seats is gonna be hot y'all man so stay tuned in and i'm gonna turn y'all back on when they back all right we finally getting the interior has been a minute and we're about to go in here and see what it looked like what's up oh yeah they looking good man i'm liking that oh i'm glad i went with that double piping yeah let's get them outside in the sun all right so we if, if you gave me more i'm not gonna complain <laughs> We deleted the headrest, deleted the, what's That's this the called? Piping. piping. The piping. This is double stitch. That's double stitch. Um, okay, we did the double stitch diamond on there. I'm liking it though. Came out real good compared to what it was before. And that color. I can't wait to get them set in there. They gonna look real good. And y'all get in the comments, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. With the head the headrest being deleted on there and the piping. Alright, YouTube man, we got back to the house. We unloaded the seats. One of them out there. I still need to put the other one inside the car. But man, hey, they is looking super crazy in here. And actually, man, it's like the car took. I think squatted some more. 
I squared one that low before, but I'm about to show y'all this and I want y'all to let me know in the comments what it's talking about, man. I ain't get it in the sun, so I really can't get the full on effect while it's in the car, but I'm kind of digging it. The dual panels, the dash, the seats, no headrest. Like I said, we did away with the piping, did the stitching, but the piping is kind of old. Like I said, the carpet is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it just be maybe doing that just because. Man, he's gonna focus up. All right, here we go. But so we got the back seats in there. Yes, sir. But I ain't put the other passenger side in there because, like I said, I'm still doing a lot of wiring in here as well. So I, I like, man, I just bolt them in there real quick so don't be in my way. But I'm glad we got these back seats in there, man. I was waiting to see what them things look like. And they came out real good, man. Shout out to my poster guy, man. Y'all see that double piping. That double diamond stitch on this thing. Ooh, they fluffy. So if y'all in the Oklahoma City area, I post this link right here. Y'all can contact him on Facebook. Just tell him Steezo sent you, man. Y'all already see the type of work he did. Like I said, he did my door panels and he completely custom made these door panels. He had to remake these bad boys. He had to remake these and my little back, uh, Little quarter pound pieces back there and they fit real snug off of this thing too so we're gonna be good to go with them bad boys and i end up deleting my ac box is out here if y'all follow me on uh, instagram y'all probably seen that so i end up deleting this because it really ain't gonna be no room for me to run my down pipe with that big old AC box. So I made me a quick AC delete plate. I made that. I'm kind of mad because I already had this engine bay painted up real nice and I ended up hacking it up and had to do this. So I'm gonna have to get all this stuff repainted. But did just a quick little mock-up. It's already cut and everything. I still need to put all the rest of my bolts in there. But I'm gonna need this to run my down pipe down here so I can have a lot of room. So I'm gonna just end up doing the vintage, the vintage AC system for the car, which is better because check this out, man. This thing's been starting to rust all around here on the car, man. It was starting to rust up. And I was finding all type of stuff inside here, man. I ain't gonna find an actual land do badge right here for the car. I ain't gonna find that bad boy inside the AC box. So it was good I took the AC out of there because I ended up finding that. But yes, I am still running AC. I just had to get that out of the way because I think actually it was just a piece of crap. I'm glad I took it out. I'm just running the vintage stuff. It'll be more cleaner and the engine bed will be way open. So that's it, y'all, man. I'm glad I got my interior back. The no headrest. Got rid of the piping. Looks way better, man. The car's coming along fast. It's getting closer and closer to running, man. Like I said, just this COVID stuff has been slowing down a lot of stuff, man. So y'all stick around with me and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.